Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv and today I want to talk about Geek Tool. It's a tool used by geeks or something like that. Geek Tool is a pref pane. It is a, a program for Mac OS X which allows you to do something that I've been doing a while on Unix platforms and it's been popular on, on Windows platforms as well. It allows you to put embed certain information on your desktop and uh, that, that can include excuse me that can include system logs that can include network graphs that can include various bash scripts and commands and all types of things like that but uh, you know before the days of dashboard and vista widgets and all these different confabulator all these different programs that came out that were widgets you know it was all about embedding text and embedding these simple programs on your desktop using various commands or various programs I know in Linux I use root tail and there was a couple more over there and right now on Windows there's Samurai and on Linux there's a, there's a few other more popular ones I haven't been on the Linux front in a while but Geek Tool is what allows me to do this if I go up to the top left of my desktop you'll notice that you'll see you know what's that a weather map look at that it's a weather map <laughs> also with a weather forecast and now I see for Jacksonville Florida I can get a quick view on my desktop of the map and the, the forecast and this will update automatically periodically now you're probably asking yourself well you can just do that with a, with a, with a dashboard widget why can't you do that with a yeah I could do that with a dashboard widget but dashboard tends to take more resources than it needs to so I find that geek tool is a lightweight more geekier type of way to do this and on the right side I have stats I have stats and I have more stats I have my physical memory uh, I have the top five offending programs. I have my CPU uh, usage by user, system, and idle. And I have my top five offending CPU programs. And then I have my disk usage by volume. So these are all things that I can glance at and get a quick view and see how my system's performing. Now I could get iStat menu, I can get all these different flashy things which consume a lot of resources, but these are tiny. They consume very, very little resources and they are very useful. And finally, let me show you what my one of my favorite things is. We're in hurricane season now in Florida. So I I am tracking a lot of different storms from weatherunderground.com or wunderground.com. So I got three graphs, I got three uh, images down here at the bottom of my desktop each representing a different tropical storm out in the Atlantic the first one is tropical storm Ike the second one is tropical storm Hannah and the third is tropical storm Josephine and all of these are expected to be hurricanes so I gotta be watching this closely so while I work and do what I need to do I can just glance down and see what the latest forecast track is for those storms and see if they're coming for us now let me quickly show you the program in the pref pane this is what it looks like. It's just a simple prep pane, and you can assign different groups to different commands. And you see here, I have different uh, different commands for different things. Like, uh, for example, for disk usage, I have a script called usage.sh, which will output that information. It's just a, a simple Unix command for top mem. I'm using top and other, and some grep commands and and r and uh, awk and set and grep and all over the place. Uh, same thing for memory and uh, for CPU same thing and for weather I have a weather script weather.sh and I put in my zip code and for these images you can see that there's a drop down here where you can do file shell or a picture now if you want to do a file you can tell like a system log or the console on your desktop but these pictures down here is how I'm doing the picture so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a new entry and I'm gonna do picture okay let me just show you how it done. And, and you see on the desktop, I have this grayish area. This is the default location, and it kind of gives you a preview of where you're going to put the new item. So I'm going to go over here to my browser, and I already have a web page up. And here is a computer model of Tropical Storm Hannah. So if I want to see what the various computer models say Trop Tropical Storm Hannah is going to go, I can put that on my desktop as well. I'm just going to right click on this image and do copy image location in Firefox that'll give me the URL and that's all it needs here I'll just put in the URL and then I'll put a refresh time of 3600 seconds which is once every hour that should be more than enough and as you can see it has already updated and I can resize it let me move this window a little bit to the right I can resize this and it can come all the way to full size or I can move it around and do what I need to do 
I can also, in the Geek Tool window, I can go to Style, and I can give it a frame. Like right now, it's just frame none, but I can say it's a photo frame, and it gives it like a, a grayish photo frame. I can do bezeled, and it'll do a, a little bezeled thing to make it look pretty. I'll keep that one in there, and I can all, also uh, adjust the opacity. I can make it 50% opaque, and you can see you can see through it a little bit now. So if you don't want these things to stand out, you can do opaque stuff. So these are all the these are just some of the options. I can make it always on top. I'm not going to do that for this. But let me go ahead and clean this one up so you can see what the final product will look like. I'm going to go ahead and make it 100% opaque. And then I'm going to adjust this frame here to make it look a little bit cleaner. And uh, I can just put it anywhere. I can put it right here. So that's how simple it is. And this will update, like I said, every 3,600 seconds, which is every hour. And uh, I don't have to go to the website. I can just glance at my desktop and see the latest Tropical Storm HANA track. Now this is just one case study, one use case of how to use this. You can use whatever image you want. If you're, if you're fond of net, network graphs, you can create those and then you can plot them on your desktop. Um, you can get anything off the internet. As long as it's accessible via HTTP, then you will be fine. Um, so Geek Tool is, the, the limits are pretty much up to your imagination. There is so much you can do with it. These are just some of the ways I've used it. I used to use a lot more. Like I used to do things like put my current iTunes song. Um, what else did I do? Uh, I think I found something where I can extract the lyrics for a song. Uh, <laughs> all kinds of little cool things that you can just embed on your desktop using Geek Tool. Now I've kind of you know calmed down just a little bit, but uh, I still like to use it from time to time. And hurricane season was a great reason to do so. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and this is Geek Tool for Mac OS X.